Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to use Hibernate with the help of annotation. Already in our previous video, we have discussed about Hibernate and what is ORM tool, all those things very detailedly we have discussed in our previous video with the help of HPM file. In case if you haven't watched that video, please watch that video so that you will be getting the clear understanding about Hibernate with annotation. Already in our previous video, we have done our hibernate with HPM file, but right now we are going to delete this HPM file and we are going to achieve the mapping with the help of annotation. It's very simple uh, and easy friends. Uh, easily you can understand I think it will be a very short video what I am going to do previously what we have done you can look at our HPM file we have done the mapping with the help of HPM file we mapped with employee pojo class with tbl underscore employee table and we made one column as primary key with the help, with the help of ID tag and the remaining column we have mentioned as property tag. Now what we are going to, we are going to delete this HPM file and we are going to done the mapping with annotation. It's very simple. So let me do one thing. First let me delete this file. So now this file is de deleted. The very first changes is I have to mention that right now I am not going to do the mapping with the help of HPM file. I am going to do the mapping with the help of my POJO class. Yes, we are going to apply annotation. We are not going to use XML file. So I will delete this particular property and I will say that I am going to make a mapping with my class called from dot balloon dot m sorry pojo dot employee so this is a very important step friends please understand Previously what we have done, we have done the mapping on the HPM file. That's why we were using mapping resource attribute. But right now we are not going to do a mapping with HPM file. Yes, we have deleted our HPM file. So right now what I am going to do, I am going to do a mapping on my Pojo class. For example, as per this scenario, employee class. In the employee class, I am going to make a mapping with the help of annotation. Let me open my employee class. First of all, I have to use the annotation at the rate entity so that it will be eligible to go outside. Yes. You know from Java code we are sending an object to database so that's why I am using an annotation called entity from Java X dot persistence so please note down my import statement after that I am going to map with the table I am using the same 
previous example which we have discussed in our previous video the same table I am going to use let me check my table uh, let me connect with my database so this is my table you can look at my code I mean uh, the SQL query my table name is PPL underscore employee now let me go back to my POJO class I made this POJO classes entity so that this POJO class is eligible to go outside and I mean this POJO object is eligible to go outside and get into a database uh, like a property at the same time I am going to use another annotation called table from same package you can look parallel you can look at my import statement and I will be saying that name of the table is tpl underscore employee as, as we already know SQL is not a case sensitive I can give with small r capital letter so finally I have related my employee POJO object with a table tbl underscore employee I hope you remember we made one column as a primary key in our HPM file with the help of id tag the same way I am going to use annotation called id to make this particular employee id as primary key after that I will be using another annotation called column to specify name of the column let me check my table what is the name of my column as per my table name of the column is id name salary the same name i will give in my column let it be id as per my table same way the second one will be at the rate column name equal to name I mean as per my table I will give the name I mean the column name the same code I can copy paste for salary as well so that's it uh, friends previously what we have done we have done a mapping in our hpm dot xml file but right now what we are doing we are achieving a mapping in our pojo class itself with the help of annotation so what is the very first step in the cfg.xml file I have to say that I am going to make a mapping with my pojo class itself that's why I am using attribute class and what is the location of my pojo class and in the pojo class I am using four annotation one is at the rate entity so that this employee object is eligible to go outside and get into database and at the rate table to map with my table at the rate id to indicate this particular column as primary key and by using at the rate column 
you can map this property with your table column by specifying your table column name so that that's it uh, friends so finally i am not changing anything in my cfg file the same cfg file i am using because i am going to work on a h2 database and same way in the main class also i no need to change anything so only thing is what i am trying to do i am going to insert one new record because in our previous video already we have discussed how to insert a record how to delete how to update how to select all those things we have discussed any uh, the link is available in the description in case if you haven't watched that please watch that uh, video so that you will be getting a very clear understanding about hibernate with annotation so right now i am going to insert one new employee object and the id should be let it be triple five and maybe employee name should be alex same way i have to set my employee salary as well let it be seven thousand remaining remaining everything is same right now my intention is what i want to insert a record as we discussed in our previous video if i want to insert a record i will be calling a method save within bracket i have to specify which object i am trying to save and i will be giving a message saying that object saved finally you can look at the code front everything is same my main class is same my cfg file i made one important change saying that i am not going to mapping on a resource file i am going to ma make a mapping on a class file which is com.polan.pojo.employee i mean as per this code and in the employee pojo class we were using four annotation at the rate entity at the rate table to map with the particular table at the rate id to specify primary key at the rate column to map with my column i think we have done it let me run and verify my output whether it is inserting triple five record or not Yeah, you can look at the output. It's saying that object is saved, and the generated query is this one. Yes, I hope you remember in the previous video itself we have enabled our SQL query, right? So that's why it is displaying this query. So right now, what we have inserted, we have inserted triple five record. let us verify with our uh, database as well to check whether the record is inserted or not yes you can see this particular record is inserted the same way as we discussed in our previous video instead of save you can use delete method get method to delete a record to get a particular object hope friends we are clear about how to achieve mapping with the help of annotation 
Thanks friends for watching this video. In case if you like this video, please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as I upload a new video, you will be getting the notification. Also, you can share it with your friends.